Welcome to Mind Stretch, where we explore the boundaries of science, philosophy, and everything in between. Today, we're diving into a mind bending thought experiment the teleportation paradox. Imagine being able to teleport anywhere instantly. Sounds amazing, right? But what if teleportation comes with a catch? Teleportation is a staple of science fiction. From Star Trek to The Fly, the concept has been portrayed as the ultimate mode of transportation, instant, efficient, and futuristic. What if teleportation wasn't just about moving from point A to point B? What if it involved a much deeper and more troubling process? To understand the teleportation paradox, we need to understand the basic science behind the theoretical idea of teleportation. Imagine a machine that can scan every atom in your body, creating a detailed blueprint of your entire physical structure. This machine then sends that blueprint to another location where another machine reconstructs you atom by atom, just like building a complex 3D puzzle. Sounds simple enough, right? But here's the catch. What happens to the original version of you? This brings us to the heart of the paradox. If the teleportation process destroys the original version of you and creates a perfect copy somewhere else, is the new you still the same person? Or is it just a replica? Think of it this way. Every cell in your body is replaced every 7 to 10 years, yet you still feel like the same you. What if the process wasn't gradual and natural? What if it was instant and mechanical? Let's break it down with an example. Imagine Alice, who lives in New York and wants to teleport to London. She steps into the teleportation pod, and within seconds, her body is scanned, deconstructed, and a copy of her is reconstructed in London. The London version of Alice has all her memories, experiences, and personality traits. But the New York Alice is gone. Philosophers, scientists, and science fiction writers have debated this paradox for decades. Some argue that if the reconstructed Alice in London has all the same memories and personality traits, she is, for all practical purposes, the same person. Others argue that the lack of continuity of consciousness means that the original Alice is effectively dead, replaced by a clone that thinks it's her. What do you think? Would you step into a teleportation pod, knowing it might just create a perfect copy of you somewhere else while destroying the original? Or does that idea make you question what it means to be you? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below.